So the next song we will talk about is Christmas in the Hollis by Run DMC. Myself and Vitamin J both voted it at in fifth spot. I'll let Vitamin J kind of just start off with this. Yeah, so I was honestly surprised it made the list because uh, I didn't know. I know it's a well-known Christmas song, but I didn't know if a lot of people uh, rank it that high. Um, you didn't know. If, you didn't know the group of taste is what you're saying. <laughs> but, you know, you know, so, so I put it this high because it's. Uh, I, I really like the lyrical content in this. Like they tell a great story about Santa. Uh, you know. Uh, basically going for North Baltimore, Queens, and it's just like a nice urban take on, you know, having Santa come over, and then that's the famous line about you don't steal from Santa because it's not right. Um, so, I don't know, I just really like it. I really, uh, you don't really hear... We're going to go into our fourth place song. Um, this one has got 30 points. Uh, Max, you put it the highest at number one. Um, then... <laughs> Talk about how many points does this one have? Uh, it's got thirty. Uh, Max put it uh, number one. Then you got D three put at number three, and then Catan and Mountain put it at number five. It is when Max talked about very fast song, Holly Jolly Christmas by Burl Ives. I believe if um, don't quote me, I believe it's like a minute and twelve seconds or something like that. Um, but yes, Burl Ives had that uh, classic older voice. It, I believe the song came out, what I have it, in 1965? I said a little bit late, but um, it's an older song, but Burl Ives had that classic uh, Christmas voice. He's also played the narrator slash snowman in uh, some of those claymation movies from back in the day, if you've seen yeah, them. Yeah, Rudolph. Yeah, from, from Rudolph, yeah. Um, but this one, he just has a soulful uh, voice, so I just... You know, this one cheers me up. I guess me in that Christmas spirit um, every year. But I uh, let Bobby; he probably knows more about the history of it than I do. I know. I was about to say, and the song is two minutes and fifteen seconds. If, if you want to know, um, first of all, when when Burl, I've heard a lot of singers sing "Holly Jolly Christmas," but none of them get to that emphatic "Holly Jolly" part when Burl, like Burl Ives does when he gets to it. When you hear it, you. You feel Holly. You feel jolly. He, he he sounds like Santa Claus singing. And when you hear you like, man, you know what? I am gonna have a holly jolly Christmas. You know, you you right, bro. I am gonna have a holly jolly one. What other singers do? I'm like, you're lacking. You're lacking that oomph. Yeah, there's some other good versions, but this one, I don't know. This one punches a bit better than the other ones. This one has a Mike Tyson punch. You know, that's how good it is. But um, uh, Katan had it as well. Oh, yeah. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Have a holly, yeah, jolly, holly Christ jolly Christmas. Okay, okay. So the reason why I like holly jolly Christmas is because it's one of those songs. Wasn't it? I think you guys were talking about, but I think it's in Rudolph. Yeah, it's in Rudolph. And it's just such an up like beat song. It's like one that if you think about Christmas, you really do think about the song a lot because it's you know just the musical um the music notes together and everything like that it's just really symbolic of like just having a happy jolly time on christmas and so i think it's something people can really resonate with and it deserved to spot on my list so that's why it's there well then please tell me you've heard this one hmm? yeah of course <laughs> i've heard it <laughs> i was gonna say if you've seen rudolph he's heard it uh, uh, yeah, i heard it like all of these are probably heard i just like was like oh okay again music's not my thing it's not my like certain things just eh. all right uh the next one coming in at 34 points um this one these last three were all the last three were all voted on by everybody except for two people each time oh wow um yeah so, uh, again, remember, nobody got every single one. Showing the diversity in our group of differences in like. Um, so this one is by a very popular singer. He's done, he actually did some musicals as well. Um, older, again, much older song. It was voted on D3, put it the highest at number two. Laura put it the second highest with, at number three. Then Vitamin J put it at four. Candace, you and Mountain put it at number seven. And Max put this at number nine. It is White Christmas by Bing Crosby. Well, I like Candace take this. I'm sure she's uh, jumping uh, a bit to get to this one. <laughs> well, first of all, it's by Bing Crosby. So, And Bing Crosby is amazing. He's classic. His voice is just 
If he was still around, she'd leave me in a heartbeat. Okay. Well, Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. Sinatra. Yeah. Um, but it's also so it's most notably from uh, White Christmas, yes. which is a mm-hmm. musical. But it was actually originally done in Holiday Inn, which is also a musical, and it was done by Bing Crosby like there too. Decade before. So, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. And I was like, living in North Carolina, we don't get many white Christmases. I thought I don't think we've had any. Maybe we've we've had one. one. We we've one. had one in our lifetime. Just for reference, we were born in the early '90s, so yeah, one in our but lifetime. Just hearing it, it just makes me wish I could have a white Christmas. It's, like I can't say Big Crosby, he's one of the best singers of our of the 20th century. I mean, he is the grandfather of Christmas music. And some people may not know this. This is the most soul single of all time. Oh wow! No other song that sold more singles than White Christmas. Songs, period, or Christmas songs? Ever, ever, any song that's ever been released. Still, and it's going to keep coming. Wow, it's going to keep coming. Comes every year. Yeah, I I would not have guessed this song, but it would make sense. He does. Big Crosby does such a great job, and anyone, everyone that tries to have done the song, it's always going to get compared to this, and it's never going to live up to this. You're right. I'm Very looking good. it up. It's definitely it's the best selling single ever. You have how many sales? Over uh, well, estimate over fifty million. Actually, it varies. Like some says physical is fifty million, but you count digital is over a hundred million. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was gonna say it is a good song. I have yes, I have heard this song. <laughs> um, I used to have a tape of Bing Crosby Christmas songs, and I remember this was one. That I definitely remember. I did like he's got a he's got a great voice. Yeah. Didn't make my list, but it was a good song. <laughs> it's got a classic crooner voice. There's nothing better than a crooner. Yeah, uh, too bad you ain't married one. So. <laughs> definitely not. Well, well, I'll try if you want. On, on... <laughs> <laughs> the next song coming in at 39 points again wasn't voted on. Actually, this one wasn't voted on by three people. I missed did this one. Um, wasn't voted on by three people. Um, Hunter and D3 put it at the highest at number one. Um, Candace, you put it at number two. Max put it at number three. And Vitamin J put it at number eight. No, nine. Uh, and this is The Christmas Song by Nat King Cole. I mean, oh man, just say Christmas. Hunter has great taste for <laughs> once in his life. He has great taste. <laughs> points right agree more. Thirty-nine points. Mm-hmm. And so whoever wants, oh sorry, go ahead. I was, like, I was talking about how Hunter has a great taste for once. He, him, and I agree on something. Well, it's hard to deny and, this. Uh, this man on the list. To me, Nat King Cole, his voice is just—I can't describe that. There's no one else that sounds like him. Buttery smooth. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's to me, he is my personal favorite artist that has done Christmas music. He is by far my favorite. I do think Ben Crosby is like the, the grandfather, the father of Christmas music. But to me, Nat King Cole is, is better overall. And this song, nothing comes close to me with this song being number one. It was number one by a mile. By a mile. So you have a big gap on your page there? <laughs> well, you know, the number one song beat this by good amount, too. So just <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm 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 feeling, I'm feeling I know what number one is. I have a well, very good I want to talk about one of them, how it's not on here, but we'll talk about that well, later. Maybe in the – we're yeah, about to get into it. Like, I about two of them. We get uh, – go ahead. Uh, Candice, go ahead. You, you can hit this one. The Christmas song? Yeah. I mean, first of all, it's called The Christmas Song. So <laughs> – Although, although most people have heard the song, would never know it's called the Christmas song unless you look it up, uh, because it doesn't ever say anything about the Christmas song in the song. I didn't know the title until we did. I mean, this. chestnuts roasting on an open fire. <laughs> That's I what I thought. I had to Google that lyric to find out the name of the song. I knew it was Nat King Cole. <laughs> I, I had no idea the name of it, so I had to Google Chestnuts for a single fire. Because it's the most name. popular line of it. Then to come to find out, you're like, oh, it's just called The Christmas Song. Okay. <laughs> I was like, just like with White Christmas, no one's going to top this version. That's true. all you want. Yeah. You're not going to beat Nat King Cole. Yeah, the original. 
Nat King Cole wasn't worried about the title. He said, let me nail these lyrics, okay? Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's one lyric that always makes me laugh. is like from kids from like 1 to 92. I'm like, oh, if you're 93, I'm sorry. Yeah, mm. that's, that's you don't remember Christmas or you're gone. I'm not sure what happens to you after that. Mm -hmm. You just cut off at that point. You just cut off. Yep. All right. Um, anybody got anything else? I want to know what number one is. All right, hold on. We're gonna do we're gonna do honorable mentions. There's one song we really gotta mention, and I'm disgusted. None of you all put it on there. Okay. Um, I'm the only person. It got nine points because this is my second favorite one. Uh, sorry, no, it did not get nine points. It got it got eight points because it's my third favorite one. Temptation, Silent Night. Like really, really. I I it. A, Silent Night. A, it's so I iconic. Know. I, do I have a different. No, I, I, I put a different Temptation song on mine. I had a different Temptation. Now, now Phil, uh, I do think Ben Crosby does a better Silent Night. Ooh. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some fighting words, buddy. It, it, it's good. That's it's not this one. He does a better uh, man, Silent Night. Christmas. It is so much, dude. This is fire. All right, it's fire. <laughs> but whatever. Whatever. Uh, I, see, see, I, I liked their. I had my Temptation song was their version of Rudolph. I, I liked that better, honestly. Mm -hmm. that was, that was my they do. Method. They do. This one, Silent Night, iconic. One of their like. I'm even gonna say like one of their best performances, Obama. including any of their original songs. Like, like including My Girl. Honestly, I like it better than My Girl. No, no, I like oh. it better than my yeah, like this right. song is my favorite song of theirs. Yeah, uh, controversial, I know, but I'm just gonna that throw is, it out there. This one, the high, when he hits that high silent night coming in, like, come uh, on. Oh, so I'm gonna be honest, best temptation song is I Wish It Would Rain. He, he is pretty much saying every opinion you have in Temptations is garbage. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. We'll go to oh, another song. Uh, here you go, Max. I'm going to give you the floor. You had two songs. Well, you I'll were talk about two. I'm kind of surprised. Now, it was, it was only eight on my list, but I'm kind of surprised. Um, it's the most wonderful time of the year, but Andy Williams didn't make it because that one is pretty classic. Um, as classic gets for a Christmas song. So I'm kind of surprised that they make more lists. But uh, I also want to note, I think I'm the only one who has this list. I'm pretty sure. But I yes, love sure. Santa Claus is Coming to Town by Bruce Springsteen. I'm not a big Bruce Springsteen fan, but his version of that song, the live version, is uh, a whole lot of fun. He oh, seems no. to have a whole lot of fun. Uh, it, it, yeah. it, it got votes, but um, myself and uh, – sorry, give me one. Myself and Mountain disagreed with you because the Jackson 5 – does it better? Oh, what, the yeah. No, I, 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 I agree with the Jackson Five version. I kind of forgot about that one. That's well, the best. Mommy that, kissing Santa Claus. I'll give you that. Yeah, Mommy, I mean, Mommy kissing. That was good. That's, I, mean, I can't even tell, think of anyone who holds a candle to the Jackson Five version of that. Mm -hmm. Your fingers are trash, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry. Bruce Springsteen over Jackson 5? Like, let's be yeah. real. Yeah. It, 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 it's heard, you, oh, have you heard oh, it? no. Nobody. 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 It's not just Bruce Springsteen either. It's um, uh, the E Street Band, too, okay? <laughs> Do you, you want to say Clarence is good? Clarence is great. Get him a saxophone. Say this one, give him a saxophone. Okay, I'm not saying they ain't good. They ain't Jackson Five, buddy. They ain't Jackson yeah, for Five. For this song, they're better. They ain't Jackson Five. That's story. like that's like saying, hey, hey, Reggie Miller is a great basketball player, but is he Shaq? No. Is he Shaq? No. Well, two different positions. That, that is a great yeah. comparison. <laughs> <laughs> Any other honorable mention? Anybody else got a thing they want to talk about that they're um, that they're upset that make the list? Want to tell us how dumb we are? I'm pretty sure my number one watching. won't be the number one, but uh, I really love the song "Believe." It's in Polar Bear or Polar Express. By Josh Groban. Well, okay, okay. well, we'll talk about it in the movies, but Paul, never mind. I'll leave it for the movies. <laughs> um, I am surprised Noel did not make it. I am surprised Noel did not make it. Noel? By who? My favorite is Josh Groban featuring Faith Hill. Oh, I have another one. Ooh, that was there. That was good one. Faith Hill had a couple honorable mention songs. Well, she but... can talk about one. But I also like the Rocking Around the Christmas Tree, the one that was in Home Alone by Brenda Lee. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, that was a problem. I forgot that song, and I was killing myself like, who sings it? And now that was one. Okay, I would admit I, that would have been one I would have put on my list. I didn't know who sang it before, the, before we did the list, but uh, that version from Home Alone, which Brenda Lee did, I have mm -hmm. on here in 1958. 
It's yeah, definitely the best character. Uh, I was kind of surprised. Um, oh, go ahead. I was gonna say I don't even like the song as much as that jazz, the saxophone part. Oh. So uh, yeah, I used to always like dance to that when we were putting up the who, decorations. Who did the other version where it gets like he goes crazy? You know, there's another version of that song. It's the dudes who do it and they go kind of crazy. I don't want to just sing it on here for you. I don't know. Uh, Jay, what are you about to say? Uh, no, I was kind of surprised no one put uh, "Put a Love in Your Put a Little Love in Your Heart" by Al Green uh, in there. Oh, no. uh, to be honest, I didn't really. So it's in Scrooge. Way. It's in Scrooge. That's where I remember it from. But yeah, no, it's, it's a good version. Good song. Phil, I was it's surprised. A, I was surprised you didn't have a uh, Twelve Days of Christmas because of uh, camp. That, that's one of the worst ones. <laughs> no, I like the um. What's that? What's that one group you do that does kind of a different spin on it? Twelve Days. Of Christmas. Yeah. I like their group. Yeah. Oh, straight no chasers. Yeah, yeah. I like, I like oh, their version. Right. Yeah. There's See, that would have been another one. Twelve Days of Christmas with that. If that like that. Yeah. Theirs is hilarious. Yeah. Um, and the last one, even though uh, Bobby doesn't like the newer songs, um, this Christmas by Chris Brown's actually like. Oh, that's, that's a good, good one. I yeah, like yeah. it. Like, I like the original better. By I'm not the biggest like Chris Brown one. fan, For but that one is like is that cool. one's that one's on it. That like that one's on it. Sometimes Phil, that it. song was that song was on my list, but by Donny Hathaway. Yeah, I know you're wrong then too, because <laughs> Bobby needs the old version. It's just. No, 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 I'm sorry. Let's get to number one where I know we all agree that this probably deserves a spot. All right. Oh, God. Please. Coming in with um, 48 points, um, myself and Vitamin J put at number one. Uh, Katan put at number two. The Mountain put at number three. Max put it at number five. Candace put it at number eight. D3 put it the lowest. Well, it's technically not the lowest, but put it at number nine and... Laura was the only person who did not vote for this. This is a song we talked about before on one of our on Guilty Pleasures podcast. It is All I Want for Christmas by Mariah Carey. I mean, come on. Like this is this is it. All right. Whether you like the song or not, it will it is gonna beat you into listening to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, well this song gave her this after she got the song, she got the nickname Queen of Christmas. So that tells you kinda of how big of an impact it's they had. made a, they made a really bad movie like a few years ago based off of her song. Uh it was like Mariah oh. Carey is all I want for Christmas yeah. is you or something like that. And, yeah, really yeah. Bad, but... and she did another cover up with Justin Bieber, I'm like Mariah Carey, you did it perfect the first time. No need yeah, to mess yeah, it up, yeah. okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because this song came out in the nineties. Came out in I'm pretty sure ninety four. Yeah, 94, which I'm, I didn't think it was that old, but yeah. Me neither. It's one of those, again, like catchy, again, because of me. I love trying to hit those high notes, though I can't. <laughs> but when she it's hits fun. that, you, like, good Lord, that, I mean, let's, we talk about, when we talk about voices, that will probably mm-hmm. once be a podcast of best voices. That woman, like, prime Mariah Carey, good Lord, she can, mm. That also be on your celebrity crushes list. I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> we might not be able to get away with that list. No, uh, you can't do that. <laughs> if anyone wants to know, this is the best-selling female Christmas song of all time. I'm not surprised at it's all. It's gonna keep selling too, because you. How many Christmas? How many commercials you're gonna hear with this song? Mm-hmm. Is that over I'm, the I'm still not tired of it. Oh yeah. Even like the younger generation, like the youth kids that drive around, every time they love this song playing this and screaming to the top of their lungs as well. Some people love to hate it now just because it's so overdone, but I don't care. You, no, you just... got to be such a Grinch or a Scrooge <laughs> to hate this song. I'll say, if you listen to the radio, you probably hear this song more than any other song. Right now, for sure. Mm-hmm. I would not have guessed this from Nice Night 4. It is deserving of being in the top ten. I figured it would be number one. I figured it would be. Rightfully same. so. <laughs> I have no arguments with it. Oh, same. I have something like better, but I'll live with it. Ian, what would you say your number one was? Mine was, was Believe by Josh Groban. But this oh, was my second. Good. That was a good one. Yeah, this was but, second, sorry. so it wasn't far off. <laughs> sorry, not Mariah Carey, though. What was your first, Bobby? I was the Christmas song. Oh, okay. okay. Not King no, Cole. I had the same ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, sometimes you just don't win. You're not the right. Oh, Candace, oh. you're you're the one with the vocals. You, you got anything to add? Yeah, my wife is upset. Her number one's not on here. <laughs> what was her? Yeah, what was hers? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Oh, uh, that's a good By Johnny. Song. Yeah, that's a classic version. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot <laughs> that song existed. <laughs> no, 
You're the only one who voted for it. She, but it's a good song. Good song. She, she is the most musically inclined, so maybe we're all wrong and she's right. <laughs> yeah, I know. True. True. Actually, I had that number seven. I had that number seven. Mm-hmm. I lost showed us heart. a bunch of Christmas songs that uh, people might mention in the comments that we missed out on. So, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Sure. And if you are watching this, remember, like, we are doing specific, like, not just the song, yeah. specific to the artist. Because if you ask me what my favorite like Christmas song in general would have been something different, um, like just general song that I don't like, it would be a different song. So maybe in the future would say, what's our favorite just Christmas song done by whoever? Doesn't matter. Favorite one to hear. So yeah, across the board. But all I want for Christmas, fire. All right. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, just to give you a quick rundown, just in case you forgot. Uh, we did have tied at ninth place was Christmas in Hollis by Run DMC and Celebrate Me Home by Kenny Loggins, both with 12 points. Uh, eighth place was Last Christmas by Wham with 19 points. Tied at fifth was Mary Did You Know by Pentatonix, as well as Your Mean One, Mr. Grinch by Thurl Ravensfort uh, with 24 points. Holly Jolly Christmas was fourth by... Burl Ives with 30 points. With 34 points at third place was White Christmas by Bing Crosby. Number two was The Christmas Song by Nat King Cole with 39 points. And number one was All I Want for Christmas by Mariah Carey with 48 points. So that is our list. You can go ahead and tell us in the comments below. Did you agree with your lo our list? Did you not? Was there a song we missed that you would have wanted to put instead? Go ahead, let us know in our comments, and go ahead, give us some feedback on what you think. Hit that like, subscribe, and all that other jib jazz. Smash Again, that my name's Legacy. You can follow me at wisdom underscore legacy on Twitter. My name's Max. Uh, you can follow the Core Discussions on Twitter at Core Discussions and on Facebook, same name, Core Discussions. And uh, don't forget to get the T-shirt. We'll give you the link down below. I made the logo, so you know support. That's how you know it's for local artists. Yeah, it's for your local artists. <laughs> <laughs> I am Bobby D Three. I do not have any social media, but if you want, you can read my book, the top twenty-five Christmas movies of all time and more. I'll discuss Christmas movie, Christmas music, and more topics. All right, I'm Ian Katan. Yeah, uh, you can catch me on my YouTube channel, Ian Lesbian. I have a couple subs there, and because uh, Mountain's not here, I'll say it for him. Uh, social media was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Vitamin J. You can find me streaming occasionally on Twitch at Vitamin J, and, and Twitter at Vitamin J91. My bad. And thanks to our special guest. Hey, Candace. Married him. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for so, coming. tune in next time. Thank you for coming. Well, you're going to be here for other yeah. ones. Uh, tune, spoiler. Yeah. Uh, tune in next coming. time. We got more coming. And also, uh, please comment. Shout out to all of our subscribers out there. Thank you, Jack. Ian, take us out with all I want for Christmas. <laughs> Contrast to a bit, free so free, like you're to become.